What's up, everybody? I miss you, Daddy. And it's sad that to see everybody in this turmoil. But I want everybody out here in my family to understand. Stop listening to people who've never been in my life, who wasn't there for my mama, who wasn't there for my daddy, who didn't grow up in the household with me to understand why I'm not feeling sad. I'm not feeling sad because my daddy loved me and he programmed me and he trained me to what the day was going to be. So right now I'm trying to have a peace of mind and I shouldn't have to tell nobody they roll. Right now, nobody needs my permission to express their love for my father. But what y'all going to have to stop doing is... Y'all going to have to stop putting my sister names out there. Y'all going to have to quit saying people stole stuff from me. Because everything in life that I wanted, I got for myself before my mom and my daddy died. I'm with small injury repairs. So it's not about money. I don't care what is left. I don't care who gives me what because I didn't ask nobody for anything. All I ask is for everybody to get along. Pay respects to my daddy and my mother from my family union without putting other people ahead of everybody. This is funeral is about my father and his family, not about one person, not about who the last born, who the first born. Right now, I am Mr. Woods because I already was Mr. Woods. He ain't left. He's sitting right here looking at y'all through me. Trying to figure out when y'all going to understand. I'm a father. I still have to take care of my sisters. I still have to provide. I am still have to get out here and run my business. I still have to come out here and be wood, Mr. Woods. So every day, if I know I got to wake up and I'm Mr. Woods, I'm still here. I love you, Daddy. Because you gave me the best gift that could nobody give me. You gave me the best knowledge in the world. You raised me to be a man. And you raised me not to be in fear. You raised me to be understanding in life. And you raised me to know what to do. So right now I'm asking everybody. If y'all can't understand how I feel. I don't need nobody talking. Because right now, my happiness all depends on everybody respecting that I still have a handicapped sister that I got to take care of. I still got to take care of my sisters because I'm the one who's going to back them up. I'm the one that's going to be there for them while everybody else that's on the outside looking in not understanding. We being good. Woods is all, is all good. I don't have to worry about shit in my life. And I'm going to show you why I don't have to worry about shit in life. I'm pulling up. I got five cars sitting out here. And I work for that. I earned that being wood small engine repairs because my parents were the woods. Everyone respected the woods. Everyone accepted me. That's how my business got started. Because my parents put down a root. I just capitalized and stepped up. And do my role as a man. So now we living in this life where my daddy loved y'all. Loved y'all to death. He just wants y'all to for once get along and stop thinking about dumb shit. That's the bottom line. Because I'm at peace. Because I'm by myself. Because I ain't got nobody talking to me. Telling me all this other shit. Oh, you gonna feel sad? What the fuck I'm gonna feel sad for? I'm Mr. Woods. I'm Mr. fucking Woods. I ain't went nowhere. I'm still here. But I'm just in this person right here body. And this person that's in this body right here. He's in this person body right here. We still gonna live. We still here. Love y'all. But y'all need to have an understanding. Y'all don't need my permission to do nothing. I want y'all to stop bashing each other. Because y'all been doing it ever since I was six. I'm 46 years old. And I've been having to deal with everybody who they dislike. And I'm gonna tell y'all this. Anybody that plans to come to my father's funeral and talk shit. 
I will beat your ass and put you in the trunk of any one of my fucking cars I got. And I'm dead serious. We're going to show my father respect. We're going to show my family respect. And I ain't going to hear no bullshit. Because if I hear some bullshit, guess what? We throwing your ass out and you will be locked up in the trunk. I don't know what trunk I'm going to put you in, but I'm going to put you in something to let y'all understand. Please sit down. Enjoy y'all life. Vent. Do whatever y'all got to do. But don't sit up here and try to destroy everybody and force everybody to pick sides and I'm the fucking heir to the throne. I'll always be in Mr. Woods. So, love y'all. Get y'all mind together and stay off that fucking bullshit and the internet. Thank you. Love you, daddy. Love you, mama.